Hi, this is Barrett with West Coast Electric Cycles. I'm going to show you how to weather proof or weather, add some weather resistance to your hub motor. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble the, the stator from the, the rotor and we're going to coat it with a, um, an insulating varnish like you would use on an alternator on a car. So the first step is to pull the motor apart. So I'm going to take these screws that attach the cover plate to the rotor. I'm going to take those out uh, and then we'll flip it over and pull the, uh, the rotor off. So let's get started. This particular motor takes a three millimeter uh, hex wrench or Allen wrench. So we'll just uh, crack loose each of these. Okay, and once we have those loose, uh, we can pull those out pretty efficiently. I've just got a screwdriver here with that same uh, three millimeter hex bit, and this just makes it a little bit faster to pull the screws out. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the, the hub cover and the rotor for the position so I can put it back in exactly the same spot. Um, there may be a, a, a specific rotation where these don't line up perfectly and so I want to go back exactly how we're pulling it apart. Um, so I'm just going to mark those. And this will be a very faint line that you probably would not see otherwise. Um, I just made a little triangle here and here. Okay, so we've got our bolts out of our cover plate. Now I'm going to flip this over and uh, clamp the uh, this end of the axle in my vise and then we're just going to uh, lift it off with a uh, gear puller. Alright, so we got our gear puller uh, mounted, my uh, pivot is in the end of my axle, and then my arms are on uh, the, uh, the rotor shell, and we're just going to tighten this up. And you can hear that cover plate pop, and we are just lifting the rotor. off of our stator. Once it's far enough off, the magnets will not be pulling so hard and then you can just lift it out of lift it out. Like so. And there is our stator. And that's what the inside of the rotor looks like. Alright, so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the, uh, the stator, the cover off of the other side of the stator so that we can get full exposure to the rotor here. We'll flip this over. And there's what's called a circlip uh, that kind of keeps this uh, cable tight to the axle. We gotta pull that off and for that we need a special tool. So this is our special tool for removing the circlip. And it's got little pins that we're going to stick inside and pull it up, apart. Like 
like so. Okay, so the circlip is off, and we can uh, gently shimmy this cover plate off the end of the axle here. You may have to pull the uh, secondary piece of insulation on this wire here, depending on if your motor has one or not, just to make it a little easier to get that cover off. Like so. So now we're going to take this out and we're going to paint it, paint it with our insulating varnish. Okay taped up the uh, axles so we don't get overspray on them and uh, there's the uh, bearing as well that's still on the axle so I made sure and taped that up as well so the main thing that we want to insulate is the silicone steel laminations um, that are basically just this portion here on the stator we don't really need to do anything with the aluminum it's not going to corrode uh, from water um, we, we mainly just want to protect the, uh, the, the steel. So we'll go ahead and get a coat on that, uh, probably two coats, and let that dry. And we'll also put uh, a coat or two on the rotor in the magnets. We'll go ahead and mask off our, uh, our rotor here. So we can paint it. paint the inside. The other thing we'll do to uh, help protect our motor from uh, water intrusion is we're actually going to drill uh, a few weep holes in the uh, side covers. Um, and uh, uh, as you can see here, uh, I've drilled uh, the holes here through the side cover, just being careful not to uh, get the magnets. Um, and uh, about a 3 16th diameter hole, um, one on each uh, third of the rotor uh, of the side cover um, on both side covers. I've also done it on the other side cover as well. So at the third points uh, with 3 16th holes. And the reason we do that is that we want to give the water a path out. The, the water is going to get into the motor um, if we don't have the weep holes, uh, and actually even if we do have the weep holes, water will get into the motor. And really there's no real good way to avoid water getting into the motor. Uh, for various reasons, um, Justin uh, at ebikes.ca had an extensive uh, video about uh, water damage motors and uh, uh, has more to say on that, but the, the, the bottom line is that motor, water is going to get into the, the motor, and so we want to give it a path out, and so uh, we have the weep holes here, which will uh, give the water an escape route uh, when, and when it does get uh, introduced inside the motor. So we'll go ahead and we'll reassemble our motor here. Now that our, now that our stator is dry from the insulating varnish,
And we're going to put this end up. This is how we removed it from the rotor. Alright, so we're ready to drop our uh, wheel and rotor back onto the motor. And I'm just going to very carefully allow it to slip into place. The magnets will pull hard. Uh, so it's always a good idea to keep your fingers well away from the rotor. Um, with the, uh, the wheel laced up and attached, it actually gives you good leverage uh, to allow it to slip onto the rotor. Like so. And we'll flip it over. And you can already hear that uh, cover plate sucking back in. So we'll flip it over and then bolt our cover plate back on. the other mark that I made. Really, really tough to see, but they're right there. So we're going to go ahead and suck this guy into place. Right there. And we're just putting light pressure on these bolts. We don't want to strip them out.
take a close listen and just make sure you don't hear anything rubbing inside the motor. Um, that just makes sure that you have proper clearances. You don't have any wires touching the, uh, the rotor covers. And that sounds pretty good. All right. Uh, last thing to do is to put the Sir Clip uh, retaining device back onto the uh, onto the axle. So we'll take our tool again, and I'm going to slip this on into my wire here first. I find that having the uh, the tool on the wire side makes it go just a little bit easier. All right. Okay. And we can slip our little extra insulation back down as tight as we can get it in there. And there we go. So back together and ready to mount onto the bike. Love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll have lots more videos coming in the future. And so uh, if you want to stay up to date with uh, everything I'm doing, uh, please uh, click the subscribe and uh, enjoy.